just bought this 1954 Chevy two-door Bel Air for 800 bucks, sight unseen. It just got dropped off. Let's go through it together to see if I didn't lose my money. <laughs> So there's about 50 mile an hour wind going on right now. So I'm gonna tell you the story out here, just in case the wind blocks my microphone whenever we go look at it. Literally have not looked at it yet, I just got it. The story was, I saw it on Facebook, it was 1500 bucks and it just had like one blurry picture and it looks like it was sunk in the mud. It looked like it'd been there for a long time. Oh, by the way, here's the first picture I saw. It was 1500 bucks. After a couple days, I think it got dropped to 1200 and he added a couple more pictures. Pictures still weren't great. They were just of the outside. I couldn't see the inside at all, but I still sent the guy a message. It's a two door Bel Air. 54s are some of the most, you know, just some of the best looking cars ever made and sent him a message said hey what's going on what's your bottom dollar what's the condition he said it was very rusty and he thought the floors were basically gone said it had sat in the mud that the frame and everything was sunk in the mud so i assumed it was in pretty bad shape going in i couldn't really see any rust on the outside of the pictures but being sunk in mud in missouri i figured okay well floors are probably shit but i'll ask him you know what's your bottom dollar what would you take blah 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 you know all that stuff he ended up saying he'd take 800 i think he had a ton of people messaging him but when he said 800 i said i'll take it i wasn't in for 12 but i'm in for eight you know it'd be perfect for a chassis swap uh i do chassis swaps obviously but uh, it'd be perfect for a chappy swap is it, if it was in really bad shape. But if it was in good shape, the motor and everything is in there. It looks okay. I mean, I'm going to pop the hood and check. But it didn't look like, you know, the air filter and all that was off of the carb. So it might still be good. Usually when they get stored and, you know, the motor's all taken apart, you know it's junk. It doesn't look like anything is off of the motor right now, uh, at least in the pictures. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have a, a buddy that has a tow truck. He ran up there, grabbed it. It was only about an hour from me, actually. It was in Mooresville, Missouri. Threw some air in the tires. We figured that the brakes and everything would be locked up just from sitting so long. And the tow truck driver said he had to pull it out. It was sunk in the mud so bad. He said it was like yanking his wrecker. Got it out, and once they got it out of the mud, it rolls perfect. Not one brake is locked up. The steering isn't locked up. Everything is turning. Everything looks okay. He also said, the tow truck driver said, he didn't see any rust in it. He said it looked pretty good. So I'm kind of anxious to see how that looks. So, uh... Yeah, let's go check it out. Enough talking, let's go look. Uh, also, I was gonna say, he said that he bought it from somebody, you know, 50 years ago or whatever. And when he went to pick it up, some kids had broke every piece of glass in it. So I, apparently the glass has been broke the whole time he's had it. He was an old timer. He did not seem happy about it. <laughs> so there's not one good piece of glass in it, but that's all right. Another thing I was very, very happy with was the grill looks great. The grills in these, I mean, I've seen them sell for five or 600 bucks by themselves. Headlight rings also look really good. I'm happy about that. Bumpers look nice. Love the hood emblem. All right. The trim is really good. The trim on these, I could already probably double my money just selling the trim, uh, especially being a two-door Bel Air. All this stuff looks really nice, which is nice. I got a little bit of rust here, a little bit here. Not too bad under there though. Everything's really solid. It's nice. It looks like the rockers are perfect. All right, let's go in, see what happens. Wow. Holy shit, my rockers are perfect. Wow. Is that... Is that the only rust in the floor? I definitely should have gloves on. Holy shit. We're gonna get a hose out and start washing this here in a second, but I'm not seeing any rust at all. Uh, I don't like that there's an oil pan in the trunk. Uh, I think he said there was spare parts, so hopefully those aren't parts to our motor. Well, no, they're not, because that's a V8 intake. It looks like from here. I don't have a key to the trunk, so that's gonna be fun. I'll have to figure that out, but holy shit, I don't see any rust at all. I don't know what the frame looks like. Let me see if I can get you guys in there. Holy shit, the frame is perfect. I don't see any spots on the frame. Oh, wow, okay. This is so much better than I was expecting. Maybe the, well, I don't think the trunk floor is bad either. All right, let's get to cleaning real quick and we'll see. Oh, it even came with a broom, baby. Let's go. 
All my gauges and stuff are still there. Oh, you know what? I need to pop the hood. I still haven't looked in the hood yet. Check it out. Looking underneath the motor. I actually love that the uh, cap is off because that kind of means it was running, but it wasn't, you know, getting spark right or something. I'd much rather see the cap off than the fucking head off or something. Everything looks hooked up still. Battery cables. I mean, fuel line. I haven't checked the oil. Where's the dipstick? Still has oil in it. That's good. This is a very good sign. Let me see if I can get it turned. Probably not. Ooh, did the motor just turn over? Or did the belt slip? I don't know if I got it to turn over if the belt slipped. This is where you run your fingers right down the radiator. It feels so good when you do that. I love it. Motor just turned over. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Yeah, see it? See the crank turning? Oh, motor turns over. It is not stuck. Wow. Plans have changed on this build. It's not a rusted out piece of shit, and the motor is probably good. We're gonna do a will it run on this bitch. I'm gonna probably pop out all my spark plugs, get some oil down in the cylinders just since she sat for so long. We'll try and start it. Not this week, I got too much stuff going on. And by the way, I don't know if I said it or not, I do not need this at all. I have so much other shit going on. But for 800 bucks, we're in. Wow. All right, let's keep going through it. All right, let's check out this side over here. Wow. So, I mean, the rust is just not there. <laughs> I'm so excited. Rear floors are perfect. Perfect. Might be the nicest doors I've ever seen. Just nothing under there. If you can see it or not. <laughs> I don't know how much that's gonna show, but. Oh, I found a little spot right here. Actually looking through the camera. I got, oh no, wait, never mind. Is that rust? Is that not rust? Oh, that's not even rust. I'm an idiot. I saw that and thought it was rust. That's actually the old weather strip. Wow. I cannot believe how nice this thing is. All right, we're gonna try and get into the trunk. I don't have a key. Usually how you do that is you break it. You just break the lock. These locks are super cheap. They're like five bucks or 10 bucks new. All right, we got the trunk open. None of this goes to this car, <laughs> so that's good news. <laughs> we just got extra shit, I guess. It's a small block Chevy. Water pump. Looks like a 350 Chevy pan. Yeah, this shit's all for 350 Chevy, I think. And we got a rally wheel. Ooh, I got a nice steely, I like. All right, let's, let's just get all this shit out of here and we'll start washing it. I got most of the bullshit out. I'm gonna try and wash it real quick. <laughs> Currently running out of daylight, but this is ridiculously nice. This might be the nicest 50s car I've ever owned and I've probably owned 40. I'm racing with the sun right now though. Let's try and wash it. <laughs> So we are losing against the sun. The sun is going down, but I did get it washed. My power washers broke, so that's very upsetting, but I still got all this cleaned out. Check this out. The floors actually hold water. This isn't a problem I run into very often. <laughs> Usually they drain, but these don't. I'm gonna have to actually drill a hole or find the original drains and pop them out. Usually this is not a problem here at Casey's Customs, especially with 50s cars. This is by far the nicest 54 or 50s model I've ever bought. Only rust we ended up finding was that little spot, that little spot. There's one more spot over there. Everything back here is perfect. One spot there, one spot there, and one spot there, and then a little bit there. But I mean, these, I, I wouldn't even fix these if I had this car running. Like, that's so little. I mean, if I was gonna paint it, I would, but yeah. Oh, and also, they started taking this door apart. I'm not sure why exactly. <laughs> but uh, I have all the trim for it, which is nice. I thought I might be missing some. Nope, I have all the trim and everything for this. So that's great. I mean, and I just double checked on eBay. The trim's worth probably two grand, maybe more. I like the custom door panels they did. I think they were trying to build a little show car. They probably might have in the 60s, I don't know. That's all aftermarket, or custom, not aftermarket. I am going to get some WD-40, start shooting all my hinges and stuff so that everything will stop squeaking. 
and probably call it a video. And on the next video we see of this one, I'm gonna try and get this thing running. What is that? Oh, that's my old overflow tank. It's glass. Oh, that's cool. These usually don't hold up. It won't open, but it's cool as shit. Wow, it's like a big old mason jar. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Wow, so cool. I didn't have any idea this was this nice. You know what I might do? I might pop the air cleaner off. Can I do this one-handed? Yep. Got a little bit of dirt. <laughs> a little bit of mud dauber. I'm sure they're down in there. Well, I don't feel them down in there. That's good. So the air cleaner did its job. Awesome. <laughs> I am so happy with this car. Looks really good. I'm gonna shoot it with WD-40 real quick and we're gonna call this a video. Give you a boop. Give you a boop. Down in there, boop. Come over, give you a boop. Down in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what? Why on earth is there a holly stuff all over this build? Wow, look at all those brands, Holly Homes. Hmm, that's probably foreshadowing. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Should start to get better, hopefully. Boop. 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 Sweet. What a fun car. I am so excited. I will buy every single one of those for $800 on the planet. Could not believe how nice it was. When I bought this one for like 600 bucks, I knew it was gonna be rough. It ended up being even rougher than I assumed. That one I assumed was rough and it's perfect. He could have listed that as perfect. You could fix all the rust on that in maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. I mean, so, so happy. Not happy that my power washers broke. Also, I apparently uh, cleaned all of this rusty, nasty, greasy car in my nice shoes. So that's fun. Nike's for life. Even though I'm going to spend the next two hours cleaning them because I'm an idiot. That's beside the point, though. We're not going to talk about that right now. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. The Tuesday episode on this, I believe, is the second to last. We get a lot of stuff done. We're almost finished with it. And then hopefully the next Sunday video will have that bad boy running. I think I can fire it up. It turns over real easy. I think it just needs a little bit of fuel. You know, maybe some new spark plugs and some points. I think we can get that one running. Also, I said this the other day, 90% of my views are from non-subscribers. Please, dear God, hit that subscribe button. It'll help the channel grow a bunch. Also, the Mustang build. I mean, I'm so excited. I'm like this close to talking about it, but I mean, I kind of hinted to it uh, a little bit today. We got some really cool partners on board and uh, I'm gonna go absolutely nuts on that build. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff we tell you at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace.